So here's our flashing that we made for top of the stucco chimney. And uh, you can see it here quite, quite nicely. How it all fits together. The corners are all tucked into one another. You can see that corner is tucked in here uh, very nicely. Riveted on the corners and uh, really nicely bent up. This is for a stucco chimney that has no drip on it at all and it's, it's deteriorating from from just the water running on the stucco. We're <coughs> putting a nice big wide drip edge on this stucco chimney. Uh, need to get it out quite a ways here so it'll drip past that all these humps and bumps in it. So we're trimming it to fit and then we'll have to put some sort of crown concrete on it. Put a cap on that middle one. Yeah, it's working out pretty good right now. Sounds good. So we're putting on some, forming up this crown here. We put some fast track concrete underneath it here so that that'll dry out quickly and help set up the finished coat. And we're putting this cap on now. Putting the cap so that the blank end faces this gas water heater thing just in case uh, the fireplaces t tend to have a um, want to replace the air in the house that's drawn out by other things like kitchen fans and water heaters etc they tend to cycle the air back down the, down the chimney of the fireplace so when you put a cap on with those with the blind end on this end it sort of blocks off that ability to suck down the exhaust from the water heater anyway it's a good rule to follow so here we've smoothed off the crown very nicely it's drying up good got the cap on and it's good Tomorrow we'll spray the chimney body here because this type of stucco is awfully absorbent and it sucks up moisture really, really easy.